Howdy y'all, welcome to Bourbon Scotch Whiskey. Just a little channel doing reviews on Bourbon Scotch Whiskey, talking Bourbon Scotch Whiskey, and drinking Bourbon Scotch and Whiskey. That's what we like to do here. This week we're discussing Filibuster. Uh, Filibuster, uh, this is their uh, American whiskey. This is uh, the Boondoggler Whiskey. Uh, the claim on this one is that it is aged in five different barrels uh, and it is a mixture of bourbon and rye uh, starts out in a new uh, newly charred American white oak barrel goes to a used American white oak barrel there is a new French oak barrel a used French oak barrel and finally into a sherry barrel now uh, the aging process on this one is three to four years the mash bill on it is 45% corn, 45% rye, and 10% malted barley. So a little bit about the distillery. Uh, the Filibuster Distillery got its start in Washington, D.C. Uh, their master distiller uh, used to sell spirits in the Washington, D.C. area. Decided to get into the distilling business. Uh, started D.C. They did a a uh, big project, and they are now in Moortown, Virginia, in the Shenandoah Mountains area, the Shenandoah Valley area. And, uh, yeah, so from what I understand, it's a pretty nice distillery. I haven't been out there yet. But anyway, uh, we're going to give this a try and see how it goes. All right. Very nice. Nice on the nose, very sweet, sweet smell, which with 45% rye kind of, actually kind of shocks me. But, hey, uh, the real proof is in the pudding, y'all. Let's get to the tasting. Cheers. Wow. Um... Not an overpowering heat to it. Uh, you can get the spices from the rye, but it's not. It, it doesn't knock you off your feet. Um, sweet to the taste, and uh, you can really, really taste the sherry barrel actually uh, on the back end of it. So, cheers again. Wow, that's uh, it's pretty good, y'all. Um, yeah, I could drink this. Uh, I could drink this neat, like I just did, or uh, I could I could use this uh, mixed in uh, cocktail as well. Um, the sweet sweetness kind of goes away, and you get the pepper peppery uh, feel of the rye. But uh, not bad. Uh, I believe I picked this up in Virginia on my way through to Virginia ABC store. And it was around $45, I believe. Maybe a little less on this one. Um, but yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So if uh, if you're in that area, I don't know where all they uh, they ship out to, but if you're passing through Virginia or know somebody in Virginia, you can pick up a bottle of this. That's uh, actually pretty good, y'all. Not bad for a three to four year uh, bourbon rye blend. Yeah. So anyway, uh, hope you guys are getting something from this. Uh, remember to hit the thumbs up button down. Uh, at the bottom and to click on subscribe subscribe to the channel and if you hit the little bell after you subscribe you'll get updates uh, to when I do another video and have that posted uh, looking to have more content coming up we got some more reviews coming up and hoping to have some uh, I do live in Kentucky so I am going to be trying to set up some uh, some interviews with some of the uh, local uh, craft distilleries and maybe some of the big boys too um, and uh, and hopefully we'll we'll have uh, have some interviews coming your way soon as well. So stay tuned, y'all, for that. Appreciate y'all watching. 
And as always, bourbon on, y'all.